Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we are creating this nice Niagara effect. Uh, I was uh, watching uh, the tutorials about this effect on uh, YouTube and a uh, few of them are really outdated, although very nice and very good. Uh, some of them are too fast or not beginner friendly. And uh, today I will try to uh, combine all these uh, information and present it to you in an easy to digest uh, manner. So I hope uh, you will like this uh, quick and easy tutorial. To start, go to your content folder, right click, go to Niagara system. And over here, try to find hanging particulates. Click it and click create. You can rename it or just hit enter. Double click to open it. And over here, the first thing we want to do, I will stop this, uh, select your emitter and change this simulation target to be GPU computed simulation. And it will give you errors. So to fix this, uh, check this calculate bounds mode to be fixed. If you go and hit play, you see your particles appearing on the left side. Now select your uh, emitter and uh, delete this sprite renderer. This sprite renderer re will render these sprites, but we want to render the mesh. So delete sprite renderer, go over here and type in mesh renderer. And now if we re render, you can see some strange objects. Uh, we'll replace those with uh, cubes. Select your mesh renderer under meshes, drop down menu. You can see this gnomon. This is this uh, effect, this uh, object and choose, for example, this uh, chamfer cube. You can see these cubes. If you want to change materials, uh, very quickly go to third person map, add, add feature content pack, go to content, starter content, add to project. You can close it. And now in the starter content, you have these materials. Hit control space, go to starter content, materials. And over here you have lots and lots of materials that you can just drag and drop it here. So Make sure to enable material override. Over here, override materials, add one array element, drop down, drop down, and you can just drag and drop the material. For example, this metal steel, and you can close this with control space. And if you go play, you can see lots of these cubes. The next step is to delete what we don't need actually. So we don't need aerodynamic drag, scale sprite size, scale color but we want to change the size of our uh, cubes. Uh, I forgot to go to mesh render and change this facing mode to be velocity. And this will use the velocity of the particles. But uh, if you change, if you change to com camera position, you can see that no matter where you are pointing, the objects will always look towards you. So we don't want that. We want to be velocity. After that, we'll go to over here to initialize particle to change the size of the particle. You can see these sprite attributes. Uh, I changed things over here and uh, it doesn't count because this is these are not sprites. You remember that we remove the sprite and we add mesh so you can uh, freely close this and under this mesh attributes change to uniform and size to be 0.1 and we have a different size of our cubes. Now let's add a normal drag over here on the particle update. Just type in drag and you can change this to be 13 or 14 and disable this rotational drag. After that, under the wind force, change the wind speed to be 15. Wind speed scale also to be 15 and turbulence mode to be none. And now it's a good time to save your uh, emitter. After that, we will add a point attraction force and over here we will change this to be 140 and radius to be 6000 and now let's add a gravity and vortex just go over here type in gravity you can leave the gravity as it is but if you change these values over here you will change the gravity this is the default earth's gravity over here and let's add vortex this will add a rotation over here. We can change this to be 600 and this is it to be 100. After that, we add some curl noise. Just add, add this curl noise force, change the strength to be uh, 8000 and frequency to be one and pan noise field on the Z axis 0 0.5. And let's add another curl noise. And we will change this to a negative 
5000 frequency 1 and on the x axis a uh, negative 0.5 and if we click play you can see the effect but we need to increase the spawn rate so click spawn rate over here and change this to be 800 and let's check them out now uh, make sure to save go to your level uh, we can go with the file new level so we can have a clean start and go to your content and just drag and drop this Niagara effect to your level if you press G on your keyboard you can remove everything and you can go with the F11 full screen to see how this looks like I saw in other videos that uh, they add a glowing sphere so let's do that uh, shapes sphere I'll go to right click over here on the content and material and just double click to open your material and let's add this uh, emissive color so hold the three on your keyboard this will be our color hold one this will be our intensity we need to connect the, those two so multiply hold m and left click and connect everything like you see in the graph and go to emissive color uh, if you need uh, more uh, tips and tricks you can always uh, go and uh, check out this video uh, double click over here to change the color for example this super toxic green will be just fine and the value to be 20 let's go with 20 so we go back over here and we save everything and we drag and drop this new material to the sphere but it doesn't work because we always forget to apply and let's position it both in the middle center Nagara system in the center and let's delete the floor and we have this sphere and lots of these cubes swarming around the sphere uh, I will go to Niagara system and go to the spawn rate and add a little bit more like 1000 of them save it and check it out also uh, click on your Niagara system and type in shadow and make sure make sure to enable this cast shadow and this will cast shadow more naturally and uh, let's go to directional light and reduce this to 0.1 and go to exponential high fog uh, add a little bit more fog density for example one and we can disable this volumetric cloud so we can see it better but uh, as you can see it's a little bit bright so we go to our new material and change this to 10 and save it now it looks just fine let's go f11 to see the effect if you move sun a little bit around you can see uh, you can make some nice uh, shadows like this or like this so it looks uh, even better and this is it i hope you like this video uh, if you find this video helpful let me know in the comments below drop some uh, uh, likes uh, and subscribe for uh, uh, more videos like this uh, see you in some uh, other video thanks for watching bye bye